بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وأصحابه ومن تبعهم بإسان إلى يوم الدين وبعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Today, inshallah, we're going to begin a series um, for um, Etikaf, which was something we started last year. Ten days of Ramadan here, the last ten days. And uh, if you remember last year, we covered a little book uh, by Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Nasr al-Sa'adi, which was The Exquisite Pearl. Um, and of course, that book has a lot to do with purification of the heart and um, the maqamat, if you will, or manazil, the various stations of the wayfarer. And since we finished that text, we wanted to take it to the next level. And um, the next level for us here is a book um, which has been um, basically put together by Ibn Qudama rahimahullah ta'ala called Mukhtasar Minhaj al-Qasideen. And the, uh, the story of the book is basically, um, this is not an original work, it is a summary. It's a summary of Minhaj al-Qasideen, which is uh, a book, it's basically a summary as well, which was done by Imam Ibn al-Jawzi. And um, the summary that Ibn al-Jawzi did was the book by Imam al-Ghazali entitled Ihya al-Ulum al-Din. Um, which is basically um, the revival of Islamic um, sciences, if you will, or the enlivening of Islamic sciences. And that book, Ihya al Din, has uh, garnered a great deal of um, fame and praise. Of course, Imam al-Ghazali was one of the great imams of the past and noted for his, um, his genuine scholarship as well as his um, ability to um, put things in a way that uh, was very potent and had a great impact. And so the book, it gained a great deal of traction among the scholars and in particular Imam Ibn al-Jawzi rahimahullah who was a great scholar of the Hanbali school as well as a giant when it came to hadith. He was a great scholar of hadith he was also attracted by this book and after reading over the book he decided to write a summary of the book and in the process of doing so he would filter the hadith that were used by Imam al-Ghazali um, removing some of the hadith which were uh, very weak grade um, adding to the text when it needed further support with um, authentic evidence and of course um, rewording some of the phrases uh, if necessary removing some of the content that was um, that was initially authored by Imam al-Ghazali that he felt was a little bit beyond the scope of Islamic spirituality uh, beyond the scope into the realm of impossibility and so basically he presented the book um, almost in a different format, but with the spirit of Imam al-Ghazali's intent still intact. Uh, sometime later, Imam al-Qudama, who was also uh, one of the great Imams of the past, um, he read the Mukhtasar or the summary of Ibn al-Jawzi, and he found the book to be, or the summary to be very profound, and also gained a great deal of traction among uh, the masses of people. But the book that Ibn Jozi put together was a little bit high level. Um, it was a little bit beyond the grasp of the general population. And so he too decided to write a summary of that summary. And in doing so, he uh, would re, um, I guess, reword of sorts or, or, or um, lessen, if you will, the um, the academic nature or the high level of the academic uh, nature of that particular book. Uh, and so here we have with us this book, Mukhtasar, the summary of Manhaj al Qasidin, which is basically the way of the seeker or the seekers, meaning the seekers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so the original book by Imam al Ghazali was broken down into a number of components. 
Um, in the beginning of the book, to my recollection, it's filled with um, almost a manual of Islamic law. And then he goes into um, various different sections. There's about four major sections of the book. Um, the first section is Al-Ibadat, which talks about the uh, devotional acts of worship. The second one is Al-Mu'amalat, which are um, the interactions between uh, mankind. And then there's a section on Al-Muhlakat, which are destructive vices. And then there's Al-Manjiyat, which are uh, qualities of salvation. And so um, what they did, these two, was they removed the fiqh portion of the beginning. They stripped the book of that. Um, because that was not the intent or the main purpose of the book. The book is about manners and spirituality. And then they focus solely on those four parts. The first being the parts of devotional worship. The second being uh, the interaction between mankind, our exchanges. And then talking about some qualities which are very divisive and destructive. And then, of course, concluding the book with qualities of, of the saved.